welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a spicy booty workout. That can be done 100% from home. All you need is a pair of dumbbells and we're going to get these booties popping. So this is a little short version of the full length workout that I have over on my app on Daily Thrive. So today we're going to be going through one circuit together. But over on Daily Thrive, you can find the full length workout where we do each set each circuit together, we rest together. We do the whole thing together. It's like a workout class. It's around 45 minutes long. So if you want to check that out, you already know where to go. You can try seven days for free. And the four-week holiday shred is still going on, which you can, by the way, start today. You know, it started December 6th, but you can start the four-week holiday shred whenever you want. You can just follow the schedule that I have up on the app. And each day you have a follow-along real-time workout with me. <laughs> so go ahead, get your... Oh, oh. The goods have been saved. <laughs> Go ahead and get your, you know, workout mat, get your workout outfit, get your BCAs. Today I woke up so tired. Like, I am so, so tired. I just had my pre-workout, okay? Exotic fruits pre-workout, which can be found in GNC. And I'm having my BCAs, so it's a double whammy for me today because my muscles and my energy levels, they need it. Okay? So as always, the link to shop my BCAs or the exotic fruits pre-workout is in my description. If you have any questions at all about these supplements and how I use them, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. All right, guys, so go ahead and get your dumbbells and let's do this workout. So our first exercise is gonna be a split squat to a deadlift. We're gonna be doing 10 on each side um, and repeating it times three. So you wanna go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Actually, before we grab the dumbbells, let's go over the form of this together. Just a quick little refresher. One, two, two steps forward. You're gonna put your foot back on the bench. Now from this position, of course, depending on the length of your legs, you're gonna to wanna to adjust. But the point is that when you go down, you wanna make sure that your weight is in your heels and that your knee is kind of like behind or right on top of your toes. So you go down like this, come back up. Now you don't wanna be so close that your knee ends up rocking forward past your toes. So really make sure you find the right position. So what we're doing here is that we're going down and then holding the dumbbells, we're doing a little deadlift. This one is, she's in tines. That's why we're only doing 10 on each side because we want to make sure we do it right and really feel it in our glutes. So grab your weights. Let's start by doing 10 on the left side or the right side, whatever you want. So ready, drop down one, deadlift, back up, that's one. And we got two. You really want to make sure that when you go down, you go as low as you can, keep the weight in your heel. And then hinge at the hip, sit the booty back, keep the weight in your heel, come back up. So down, nice and low. This is four. Whew. Five. Seven. Eight. Oh my God. Nine. Last one. Ten. Come back up. Hoo we started off with a, a spicy one, that's for sure. Catch your breath. Wow. That was harder than I expected. <laughs> okay. Now let's do the other, whoa. Let's do the other side. Grab your weights. Let's do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Girl, I am, I had to take a pre-workout today. It hasn't hit yet though. I'm not grading music again. I have to take a pre-workout today and BCAs because I'm, I'm just tired. We'll be out here. We are here thriving, trying our best. You know what I'm saying? So keeping the weight in your heel, I'm gonna go down. One and down. Two and down. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
six. Seven. Mm. Come on, two more. Nine. Ten. And come back up. Okay. Let's catch our breath. Take a minute to regroup. Oh my God, I'm about to chug these BCAs. Like. So for the side kick, you can either use a dumbbell the way I'm gonna use it here, or you can actually put a resistance band, like a booty band around your legs, and do it like that. So, holding a weight on your hand, what you're gonna do is, holding onto a wall, we're gonna kick out to the side. Now, as you come up out to the side, you wanna make sure that your hips are really sitting back so that your glutes are the ones working. So you're gonna bend that bottom knee, you're gonna go up, really press the weight of your body into the heel of the bottom leg. So you're pressing, feel it in your glutes, come back down. So when you come up, you're actually gonna let the weight rest on your leg so that you add resistance. So let's do 15 on each side, starting with the left side. This one is nice and fast, faster than the first one. So, ready? Let's go out to the side, back down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, Ten, five more, five, four, whew, three, two, one, back down, let's go right to the other side, and let's go, one, two, three, come on, you got this, four, we are strong. Our booties are getting bigger. Seven. Let's go, you can do this. 10. We got five more. Five, four, three, two, one, come back down. Whew. So for the next exercise, we're doing fire hydrants. So go ahead and get down on the floor. And again, with these, you can either use the dumbbells between your knee, or you can use a booty band around your legs for the fire hydrants. Okay. Oh no, where are you going? So placing the fire hydrant behind your knee, we're gonna be doing 10 on each side. If you are not using weight or just a booty band, you're gonna wanna maybe do it a little bit faster, like do 20, so do double time of what I do. But if you're using a heavy weight, it's best to slow it down to make sure we're doing it right. So back straight, core is tight. You're gonna bring your knee up, out to the side, back down. So you really wanna make sure you press your knee together to keep the weight behind your knee. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, switch sides. So for this one, you really wanna make sure you actually sit your butt back. So if you are too forward doing this, like if you find yourself being like this, you're not gonna really use your glutes, you can use more of your abs. So you really wanna sit that booty back. So this is a 90 degree angle, this is a 90 degree angle. <laughs> and when you come up, try to keep the rest of your upper body totally still. Up, one, two, really use your glutes. Three, four, five, six, oh my God, seven, Eight, nine, ten, come down. Alrighty guys, so next up we are doing a bouncing lunge. So go ahead and grab both 
dumbbells in your hands. We're gonna be doing a stepping back lunge but bouncing at the bottom to really put all that work onto our glutes. So you're gonna step back into a deep lunge position and staying low the whole time. We're gonna bounce 15 times on each side. So staying low, let's go. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, six, stay low. Seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, five, four, three, two, one, come back up. Those bounces are killer. You really wanna make sure for this one, you're keeping most of that weight on that front heel. So let's go to the other side. So most of the weight should be on that front heel. You're not rocking your weight backwards to the back leg. So staying low, keep moving your heel, let's go. One. Two, three, keep going, rock your weight forward. Four, five, whew, six, seven, oh my God, eight, nine, ten, stay low, five more, five, four, three, Two, one, come back up. Oh. All right, so for the last exercise, we're gonna be using a bench or a stool or anything you can step up on, and we're gonna be doing a little step up variation. So instead of doing a regular step up like we always do, which is just stepping forward, we're actually gonna put our body to be a little bit diagonal so that you are stepping kind of like in this position. So you're kind of stepping over your foot. Here, I'll show you from this side, actually. Ooh. So instead of stepping forward like this, as if my feet were straight, we are bringing that foot over like this, so they're kind of crossed, stepping up like this. This is because when you do this positioning, it puts most of the emphasis on the outer part of your glute and your legs, which is what we're going for here, you know, trying to get that side booty. So taking your weight in your hands, we're gonna be doing 10 on each side, going nice and slow. And when you step up, you really wanna make sure you press up from your heel, you really feel it in your glutes, and you step down slow. So you're not using the momentum to like throw yourself down, because you don't wanna injure your bottom leg. So we're stepping up slow. One, whoa, and slowly down. Two, and down. Let's go, remember to cross over. Three, down. Keep that weight in your front heel. Four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, whoa, ho, ho, be careful, <laughs> nine, and ten. Now let's go to the other side. So we're gonna switch sides. And let's go really press up from your heel, feeling your glutes. One. Two. Three. Four. Let's go, we got this. We're right at the end, right at the finish line. Five. Six. Seven, eight, almost done, nine, ten, come down, catch your breath. Woo. Alrighty, you guys, so that was today's workout. Thank you so much for coming and working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please let me know what you think about this workout in the comments below and tag us on Instagram when you work out with us so we can repost your stories because we love seeing you working out with us. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you with the next workout.